Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm horrifying. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. It's amazing. I recommend you try it at least two to three times a day. Who are we kidding? Two to three times an hour. Two to three times every 10 minutes. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our Tom fondly. It's morning, get ready with me. Air horn sounds. It's honestly my favorite thing to do every day. Just, I'm in a bad mood. It just makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Apparently the sky has decided to open up. Anywho, he's hi. Welcome my little babies. I figured, you know what? Why don't we just do a good old get ready with me, a try on haul if you will, because I did get a bunch of stuff from Elf that I wanna try. So we're just gonna try to keep everything as drugstore as humanly possible. I know lately I've been a little bougie, so I definitely wanna bring it back a little bit more to drugstore because at the end of the day, yes, I like caviar, but I also like checkers cheese fries. Okay, I like both. If I could have them on top of each other, I think I fully climax. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna just uh, play with a bunch of stuff see how it goes and I'm gonna just tell you about like my recent trip as y'all know I was on vacation for a little bit and I'm back <laughs> welcome back to New York and I, it was good but it was just a short trip though but it was also terrible and it was terrible because of the Airbnb but we'll get into that in a few what I did though off camera obviously was I just did my eyebrows because I haven't found anything from the drugstore that I like for my eyebrows except for the elf eyebrow gel amazing but i can't find a specific pencil that kind of gives me the color that i want the one that has always worked for me was the fenty pencil which i know people kind of like love and hate that one i love it and i love that it actually matches my hair without it pulling like too red i'm gonna do my eyeshadow first and then i'm gonna do my base because i'm gonna be doing a lot of cream products and i feel like this palette might have a little bit of fallout so i don't feel like dealing with it so let's just do the eyes first i went to florida for a few days because i haven't seen my best friend michael in I don't know, I think since 2019. And we are the type of friends where we need to see each other at least two to three times a year to maintain some sort of sense of normalcy. And you know, obviously due to COVID, you can't travel. So that kind of sucks, right? <laughs> So Paul Giamatti and I are vaccinated. And I was like, you know what? When I'm vaccinated, I'll feel comfortable traveling again. And now the time has come upon us. By the way, this is the palette. She's very, very pretty. I think I'm going to be sticking with the yellows. I don't know, I kind of feel like I want to fuck with the yellows. When don't I want to fuck with the yellows? All right, we're going to do it here. I'm going to start with this yellow. Holy shit. This bitch is pigmented. What? <gasps> Oh my God, can I tell you, actually, before I even go into my, my spiel, I am obsessed with the Chipotle palette and it makes me so damn sad that it's a limited edition piece. And it also makes me sad that, you know, quality sometimes is not always the same, but that palette, <gasps> bitch. Okay, coming into the casket with me, like it, it's so goddamn good. And this is kind of mirroring that quality and I am obsessed, oh my God. This is very pigmented. I'm very happy about that. Also, actually, even before that, you'll notice that I have a little bit of like a dry skin situation. I don't know what happened to my face, but like over here, I've been getting a lot of like just dry skin, not on my eyeball, but like underneath my eyebrow. So because of that, I've taken like a big break from doing a lot of eyeshadows, hence why not a lot of reviews have been coming out because I've been just trying to like get my face to heal. And that was the one thing that I was kind of really happy about when I went to Florida is that I did not bring any eyeshadow palettes with me because I just wanted it to breathe. With the help of CBD cream, it provided a lot of the moisture and it got rid of a lot of the dry skin. I do have a couple of little guys poking around. It looks a hell of a lot better than it did a couple of weeks ago. I'm sure if you saw in some of those videos, it looked like I had a fucking hole. <laughs> it was terrible, bitch. Terrible. Any hizzies. So I picked up a lot of e.l.f. and one of the things I picked up was uh, this little brush set from the Electric Mood set. And it comes with a sponge, which a sponge feels fantastic, but it comes with these two brushes. Unfortunately, like this brush is a little bit too big for my eye because I have hooded eyes, but this does make for a really nice kind of like blending brush. So anytime that I use any sort of like kind of bright color, just to like diffuse the edges, I take a large fluffy brush and then just gently just kind of go over the edges and then blend upwards just so I have like a nice like softer gradient. The other brush in this set looks a little 
little bit better for uh, my eye shape. Actually, it might be a little bit too big, but we're gonna try it out anyway. And this one looks like it's kind of like a nice like packing pencilish kind of brush. But this brush looks fantastic. And this is like a nice like stippling brush. I really love when e.l.f. comes out with brushes like this because they're definitely really good for all their putty products. I am excited for that. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of something. Maybe we're gonna go brown. Yeah, we're gonna go with this brown color. Put it in the crease area. Make it like a honey moment. Finally time for us to head to Florida and <laughs> You know what? It was actually really funny because like we haven't obviously traveled in a while. We uh, flew out of JFK, which is relatively close to where I live. I prepared for the worst. I thought it was going to be so many people. The lines were going to be way too close. I had this idea envisioned in my mind that it was just going to be fucking terrible. That said, it's funny because I flew Delta and Delta, instead of flying out of like the normal terminal, I think it's like two or three or whatever, it got moved to terminal four. Funny story, I used to work for the airport a very, 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 very long time ago. And I worked for an airline that doesn't even exist anymore. It was an international airline that went to Italy. And the shit, <laughs> the shit that I would see at the airport, oh my God. <laughs> The airport is a fucking place to be. If you ever want to just deal with somebody's high anxiety, stress levels through the roof, people just asking the stupidest questions, people getting mad at you for things out of your control. Uh, one time I saw a goat uh, just freely walking Terminal 4. That was, that was fun. The amount of times that I've seen people pack cans of soup and <laughs> loaves of bread in their luggage, those people always made me laugh because those are the luggage pieces that were always like, 70 pounds and I was like what the fuck do you have in here oh it's literally you have aisle six at the supermarket cool it was always just a really unique experience especially like meeting people from different backgrounds and different countries there's a lot of like cool stuff that came with it and then there were just a lot of assholes too like any job right so for me it felt like you know kind of walking down memory lane a little bit because I'm like oh wow I used to work here hmm how sweet just for like I want to say probably two-thirds of my eye I'm gonna go in with this shade because it's just like a pretty duo crown it's like kind of orangey Oh, yes, bitch. This is exactly what I wanted. Anyway, so we get to the airport and it was fine. It was better than fine. It was probably the best fucking experience I've <laughs> I've ever had dealing in the airport. And this is talking pre-COVID, okay? It was so fucking efficient. So efficient. I looked at my phone. Checking in through security was probably like less than 20 minutes. And this was like a busy, busy Thursday morning flight. Like there was everybody and their mother looked like they were outside the airport, which kind of scared me because I thought it was going to be huge long lines. No, it was so fucking efficient. However, your girl, <laughs> your girl got pat down though. That wasn't fun. That wasn't fun at all, actually. So um, if you haven't been to an airport in like 27 years, they basically have these giant body scanners and you walk through it, kind of like an easy bake oven mixed with total recall, if that makes any sense. So you stand in one spot and you put your arms up and it just does like a, like, whew, scans you and then you, you go outside of it. So once you get out of like the weird fly easy bake oven machine, you have to stand in this one area. The TSA agent will usually say like, oh, you're good or hey, we gotta pat you down. So apparently when I looked back at my screen, which by the way, it's just like a fat blob. <laughs> It was just like a fat blob. It just showed that I had like these weird problem areas around like my groin, okay? And I was just like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Do I have some sort of bomb on me? Like I started questioning myself, all right? The TSA agent lady was incredibly nice and she was like, ma'am, um, fortunately there's some areas that we just, we need to pat you down, okay? And I'm like, okay. She's like, do you want to go into like a separate room? And I figured, no, it's fine. Because in the past, I've kind of had similar situation where, you know, they usually just pat your legs down. Not this time. She reached in my pants. She, I literally, I was just like, bitch, I mean, if you wanted to go this way, at least buy me an Egg McMuffin first. But no, no, she went in. She went in. She literally <laughs> me up and down but you know what the beauty of it is nobody gives a fuck nobody cared there were people families walking past me and they just were like i don't care that you're going to second base with that lady like nobody gives a shit and it was amazing because i was like i should feel embarrassed but i wasn't i was just like go ahead feel free it was a little surprising it felt a little cold but it was hilarious <laughs> So she did that, um, she felt me up, it was fun. And then uh, she was like, okay, you're good to go. Actually, before they did that, they had to like swap my hands for like bomb making materials, passed with flying colors, of course. And then uh, they just let me go on my way. But uh, yeah, that was, that was a first. Like she literally went in my pants. 10 out of 10, recommend. <laughs> Five-star Yelp review. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
So then the rest of the time that we were like waiting for our plane, because we got there early thinking that, you know, we were gonna like wait a while. Turns out we didn't really have to wait that long. Then I'm gonna go in between like these two brown shades, make a new color and then just put it in the outer corner. We're just gonna be a very basic bitch today. I don't feel like doing anything super crazy. I got my eye back. I don't wanna jeopardize anything further. I am pleasantly surprised with the quality of this. This is reminding me of the Chipotle palette. Yeah, there's a little bit of fallout, okay. Sparkles, yeah, she's bukkakeing a little bit too much. But you know what though? It's really fucking pretty. And I give it extra points just for the fact that the yellow is super, super duper pigmented. That's nice. This is cute, I like her. I'm not going anywhere, but I feel like a fancy bitch. I'm gonna probably go in with this black shade over here just to see if I can add a little bit in the outer corner, just to make it a little darker, but I don't wanna like overtake it too much. Just a scotch. Yeah, like that. That's cute. I'm such a fucking asshole. I'm looking at the mirror, but I decide to like look at this like, oh. Sometimes I don't think. I think I'm utterly obsessed. Um, I will fuck myself. I, <laughs> I love this for me so much. And um, I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna fuck this base up. I look like a baby drag queen. I love it. Can I say that what's really nice about this particular eyeshadow palette is that it's incredibly fucking easy to use and it literally takes no time at all. I think I did this eye in like less than four minutes. That's a nice record. So I love that just for that. Now I think for the under eye, I'm gonna wait a minute cause I wanna do the rest of my face. Kinda wanna do something with the purple. I don't know. I feel like I need a little purple or red or something. Kinda make it like a fun Tahitian sunset. So let's work on the rest of my base. I am going to start with this thing, which looks so interesting. This is the Illuminating Serum from e.l.f. and this is the Tiana Major 9, probably butchering that. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I was, did you hear that? That was this, that wasn't my asshole, okay? Fuck you for thinking otherwise. This is interesting. Um, first of all, this is the longest, <laughs> the longest dropper in history. Oh, how it came out was just not so sexy. Let's see how this does well in the face. Ooh, I like this. Feels nice. I'm just gonna use this as primer today. I put way too much on my forehead. Okay, I put way too much on my face. All right, we're gonna look like a shiny sex robot. I'm not mad at it, are you? Mm. This smells pleasant, which is great. I feel like I have a nice luminosity to the skin without it feeling like a bunch of sparkles. So that's cool. Has a light kind of tackiness as it's drying down. So curious to see how this is gonna work with the foundation. I could use e.l.f., but instead I'm gonna use Koki because let me tell you, Koki, ah, bitch, I love Koki. Koki's good. Koki, I feel like nine out of 10 times in my description box, the concealer I always list is Koki because Koki is king. Koki beats out most of my high-end concealers. Pat McGrath who? No, bitch, it's Koki. Koki forever. I do have a coupon code with Koki. You can get 25% off your order if you use the code <laughs> Teresa. Let me tell you, the concealer alone is worth it, okay? Oh, man so good. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this HD foundation. I have it in the shade 10W because I'm a pasty, pasty fish. <laughs> That's probably the best way I can describe myself. So once we go past security, we have a shitload of time, right? And uh, we plant ourselves by the gate and we do some people watching. Now, <laughs> Now the gate that we were next to was of course near all the food and stuff like that. Honestly, it was so early in the morning. How people can eat, I don't know. But uh, we just basically uh, watched a lot of people stand on long lines to try to get Shake Shack. But my favorite though was <laughs> one of the Shake Shack workers. And if I was hungry and if I wanted to be an asshole, I would have done this. <laughs> I'm not a piece of shit, so I didn't do it. But this lady, I guess people must have been asking her all kinds of crazy shit. So she would eventually every like 10 minutes or so, she would just make a general announcement and start screaming we do not sell avocado patties which I was like what the fuck is an avocado patty but she would go down like this long weird list of things we do not sell honey buns I was like and it's very clear on the menu too for Shake Shack it's like egg sandwiches like we don't have chocolate croissants. She would just start screaming random things. I was hoping that she would say like lobster thermidor, but she never did. And it was just hilarious just to fucking listen to her scream that they don't have avocado patties over and over and over again. So part of me was like, I just kind of want to go up there and be like, hi, can I get an avocado patty? Also, what the fuck is that? So I kind of leave this question to y'all. What is an avocado patty? Have you ever seen it? Am I crazy? Do I not know what an avocado patty is? 
Am I not cultured? Probably. But seriously, what the fuck is it? The primer, I have to say, I feel like I lost a little bit of the shine from the primer. This is not bad, I like it. I will say though that when I first applied it, there definitely was a sheen and now over a foundation. Maybe it's because it's a natural finished foundation, but it definitely lost the sheen. Like I, I feel like my face has like a nice glow, but it's not very shiny. So huh. not bad though, not bad. We like her. I would definitely use this again, but with a lighter coverage, just to see if I can get a little bit more luminosity. However, this sponge, fucking amazing. I actually really like that it has a nice corner and I feel like I can get really right up into the corner of my eye because my eyes are so small and dainty. So I feel like I'm able to actually really get the concealer right up in there. I love this concealer, it's so damn good. What are we moving on to? You know what, actually, let's try the bronzer. Let's try the bronzer. So I have it in the lightest shade, which is no surprise. It's called Feeling Shady. Bitch, I'm shady. This is what she looks like. I'm gonna take this putty brush, get some product on here. Oh. Ooh, I like that. Now I didn't set my face with any powder or anything like that first. I'm gonna do all the cream products and then afterwards put on like a light layer. I know I look a little crazy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna buff that out. That's pretty though. So we get on the plane and the flight was fine. It was fine. Actually, I wanted to ask y'all, what is your like movies of choice to watch on the plane. Now, I was all prepared to watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills on my iPad, but they had Clueless playing and I was like, oh, I have to watch this. So I wind up watching Clueless and The Departed, which I know, I fucking love that movie though. <laughs> I don't know why I love it, but I just do. It makes me laugh. It's not a funny movie, but it makes me laugh. Anyway, so I wound up actually watching those two and then uh, lo and behold, two hours later, we were in Orlando and it was one of the fastest flights, fastest and most comfortable flights I've ever had, which honestly I'm very thrilled about because I was very, very nervous about traveling. Because you know, you, read, you hear all these horror stories or whatever in the news that people are like not complying with the mask mandate. People are just acting like a fucking fool. And uh, lo and behold, it was actually quite lovely. Highly recommend, Delta did a great job. So we get to Orlando. We have some time to kill before we have to head over to the Airbnb because check this shit out. If you wanted to check in like around 12 o'clock, you would have to pay, I think it was like 50 bucks or something. And if you wanted to check in at two, it was like $40. So since my friend lives down there, I was like, well, might as well just hang out at your house for a while. You could show us your neighborhood because we haven't really seen any of that stuff since, you know, COVID. You know, just enjoy the afternoon and why pay extra to check in? Doesn't make sense. So, you know, the remainder of the day before we went to the Airbnb was fine. It was fun. Hung out with my friend Michael. We caught up. It was great. Great, great, nice, relaxing day. So then <laughs> this is where everything went wrong. So the Airbnb, I got was in a different part of Florida, maybe 20 minutes or 25 minutes. I don't know. It was a little bit further away from where my friend lived. The reason why I picked this house is that it was three bedrooms. So it was enough space for everyone. It had a pool, a giant kitchen, giant living room. It was basically everything we ever needed was available for us to use. And the reason why I did that is because, you know, I love Disney and as much as I wanna go to Disney, you know, I'm still kind of, you know, like I don't wanna be around that many people. I'm slowly, rejoining society. And I think that would be too much of a shock to my system to see so many people, okay? <laughs> That's really what it kind of boils down to. And plus my friend hates Disney. He fucking hates it. So I'm not gonna torture him with it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go in with a little putty blush because I didn't pick up any other uh, new products. And I am going to pick up some of this product with this brush. Ah, oh, I love it. So anyway, we arrived to the place and the outside is adorable, fucking adorable. It matches exactly what it looks like on the inside. So after putting in the little door code, I opened the door and it was like as if I opened up a crypt for the first time. <laughs> it was like and everything looked so dark on the inside and everything just felt off. Like it didn't feel right. I think I went a little ham with the fucking blush. When don't I ever go ham with the blush? I'm starting to look like an Annabelle doll. Hold on. I'm just gonna take the sponge and go over it just a little bit. Go back and forth between the two. That and the little bronzer brush. Oh, she's cute. We like her. The next thing we're gonna use is the Electric Mood. This is a glassy skin balm. Not sure how this is gonna work on top of all this stuff. I haven't put any powder down, but 
I'm starting to notice from the foundation that my skin is starting to dry down a little bit. Oh, excuse me. Whoa, it's very subtle. I don't really see it kind of going. I think what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of the Halo Glow Powder from e.l.f. and I am just gonna set my face. <laughs> Right. You know what's so funny? I feel like my face is a little bit more matte, but I'm not mad at it though. So I definitely think maybe this is probably not the best thing to pair with this. Now I think I'm gonna just gonna do the lower lash line, do some lips, mascara, and then we're good to go, baby. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, so I'm gonna jump back into this palette. All right, so we're gonna do the lower lash line. I think I'm going to use a little bit of the purple in here. It's like a shimmer shade, a dark shimmer shade. I kind of want to make like a bottom smoky eye. I don't know, I kind of feel very dramatic now all of a sudden. So <laughs> I'm gonna go back and finish the other side. I realize I can't do like my eye look and talk at the same time. It's just not possible. I don't know how people do that. I don't get it, but we're gonna try it. Uh -huh. But basically what I'm doing is I'm putting uh, the shadow on underneath my lash line, making it very thick and scary looking. And then I just take a blending brush and I just buff my sadness away. And it kind of comes out a little bit more smoky. I like that. It's very, very moody. I feel like I'm going for a moody look today. So I think what I'm gonna pop on in the inner corner, I'm gonna go with this peachy guy up here next to the yellow. I'll give all the colors today, fuck it. Where am I going? Getting my Uber Eats order. That's pretty much it. Might as well razzle dazzle that motherfucker. Marry the two together like cousins and we are good. Okay, so let me just do mascara and then shut the fuck up finish my story. <laughs> okay, so this is the Big Mood Mascara. This came out very recently. And the brush is, um, she's thick, she's curvy. She's very curvy. Uh, she has an hourglass shape. We love that for her. And uh, I'm gonna shut up because I can't do my mascara and talk at the same time. I actually like how moody I look. <laughs> I feel like I should own a crystal shop. I'm not mad at it. I feel very Florida, I love it. <laughs> The last thing I have before I finish my story is, oh, I don't think this look is gonna go together at all, but who cares? <laughs> this is all for fun. I have a couple of their new lip products and the first one is a lip liner that is kind of brown. Yeah, uh. Oh, this is a look. This is a look. Oh, this is a look, all right. So I could fuck things up. <laughs> Why not, who cares? So. Oh, it kind of makes it like a black cherry. That's interesting. I don't hate this. I mean, does it go with the look? Not at all. Again, I feel like I own a crystal shop somewhere. I'm feeling my goth fantasy right now. Horribly, by the way. Sorry to all my goth babies. I'm not doing you justice right now. And this is a sheer stick. I feel like the sheer stick in a way is uh, kind of turning my look more into like a cherry, like a black cherry color, which I'm not mad at. But I mean, we might as well just go fucking balls to the wall at this point, right? So there's also a gloss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate that. You know, I was actually a little apprehensive about this because all it is is just like actual glitter reflex. And normally I'm not a fan of stuff like this because of Wet n Wild. When they release glosses with any sort of glitter in it, it's like sandpaper. So I, anytime I see anything with a little glitter in it, I'm like, ooh, hell no. But this is kind of taking the moodiness out of the lipstick. You know, I'm not that mad about it. This is, I mean, it's a look. So yeah, this is a look. <laughs> you know, it doesn't go, but it's fun. Like this is something that I probably would wear on Halloween if I wanted to scare the shit out of people. <laughs> I think parts of the look are cute. It's just all together. I'm a fucking Monet right now, okay? I'm a big old mess. But I had a lot of fun playing with this. But anyway, hold on, my whole story, right? So as we start kind of exploring the Airbnb, we start to notice that some of the lights don't work and some of the things just don't look as clean as it should be. Like for example, the kitchen table has fingerprints and breadcrumbs all over it. On the couches, on like the arm rest of the couches, it looks like somebody had like dry skin and was just like had a field day, just scratch just scratching, had a good scratch, and just made like a snake skin and just left it on the couch for the next person to sit on it. Uh, 
<laughs> when I went into the bathroom of like the owner's suite, the shower had mold in it. It didn't look like it had been cleaned. The closet in the bedroom, there was a flickering light that reminded me of a horror movie. You know what I mean? Like, you know when the light just goes zzz, 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 zzz. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was actually a room for another dimension, but I didn't want to find out. So I didn't press my luck. All the appliances around the kitchen had crumbs around them. There was like giant dust bunnies in the kitchen. Everything looked like it had a layer of dust on it. It was very confusing. Now I go to the pool. The pool was advertised as like, you know, blue water. This was green. <laughs> It was green and had a lot of sand at the bottom of it. Funny story, there was no sand to be had. I don't know where the fuck the sand came from. I was looking all around the goddamn property. There was no sand. So yeah, um, very confused. Oh, and the kicker was the air conditioner. They had that shit set at 75. I don't know about y'all, and I'm pretty sure there are some people that are like, 75 is cold. Fuck you, it is not cold. 75 is fucking warm, okay? I want to sleep in 60 degrees. Actually, if it was 40, that's even better. I want it to be a fucking meat locker around me, okay? It makes sense, I am a large piece of meat. And I need to be very, very cold in order for me to sleep like a vampire. And if I'm hot, bitch, I'm not sleeping. So the fact that we couldn't even change the thermostat below 75, no. No, 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 no. So I wound up actually messaging the Airbnb host. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Funny story. Um, just got here, cute place. Did anybody clean it? Did it did anybody clean it? Or was that like a you clean it kind of a situation? Like what happened here? I don't understand. Didn't hear back at all. The person never fucking responded. I was in there not even that long, and I, I thought to myself, either I make the best of it. <sighs> or I just leave. I'm like, you know what? Let me just look at the bed. Let's just see if that's even comfortable. Cause maybe, maybe I could look past all this shit. The bed I'm pretty sure was just made out of rocks and they just put a comforter on top of it. And I thought, yeah, bitch, I gotta go. <laughs> maybe if I was in my twenties, like I could totally sleep on like uncomfortable furniture. But as a woman of a certain age, as approaching 36, I need to be fucking comfortable. That was not comfortable. I pretty sure I could lay on the ground that would be more comfortable than that bed. So um, needless to say, stayed there for a hot second. <laughs> Didn't even bring my bags inside. <laughs> and uh, we decided to cancel the Airbnb. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and the kicker is when I canceled the Airbnb, they charged me for a cleaning fee, which was really hilarious considering they didn't even clean it before I got there love that for me. Anyway, I love them. I left them a nice review. Hopefully they like it. But you know, it's funny when I first booked it, there wasn't a lot of reviews. And that's what I think I am not going to uh, book places that don't have a lot of reviews. I took a chance and it backfired in my face. But when I was reading the reviews for this past month, oh man, people were pissed. And I guess I'm not the only one. So love that for me anyway so with that said i uh, some quick thoughts about the makeup today i liked a lot of the elf stuff i think the clear winner is definitely the eyeshadow palette the quality really reminds me of the chipotle palette so if you missed out on that I can pick this up because this is awesome. Also, I really do like the color story. Pretty much neutral with the pop of blue. So the Anne inside me fucking loves it. But the Teresa inside me loves that there's a yellow in it and it's actually good. The lip products were good. The mascara was surprising because I'll be honest, when I saw that big ass wand, I was like, oh, how the fuck is this gonna work? I didn't experience any transfer, even though the wand was pretty big. I don't have any sort of remnants on my lower lash line. So that's fucking great. We love that. I think the thing that I would need to try again is the glassy bomb and I only say that because I think with what I have on my face today it's more of like a natural skin finish so I think if I had something a little bit more hydrating I feel like it would be a little bit more noticeable so um this I need to try again but consistency wise I liked it and I like that I didn't pick up the products underneath it's just it's subtle you know what I mean and you know me I'm not a subtle bitch so uh this I need to keep playing with and the same goes for uh this one too the illuminating elixir I definitely feel like I have a luminosity to my face but I don't like it as much as say my thorn oil from ritual defeat that particular product I feel like keeps my skin very hydrated it gives me a nice luminosity but I just wish it had a little bit more so um yeah I guess that's pretty much it right and then we have Koki Koki's wonderful we love Koki so um yeah that's pretty much it. Let me know down below uh, if you've tried any of these e.l.f. products or some of these Koki products, because I would love to hear from you. And if you have actually any good drugstore recommendations, please let me know down below because I just, I wanna hear from you, baby. I love you. The big takeaway from today's video, don't stay in an Airbnb that has no reviews. 
<sighs> That's the big takeaway. And with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, crystally gothy shop garbage boat, I don't know, afloat. <laughs> I couldn't do it without you. And I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up. If you want to know what is currently on my face, where to get my merch, my podcast, my bloopity blop blop, my palette, whatever, everything will be listed in the description box below. I just realized I had this clip on the whole time. Love that for me. I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.